What's going on, YouTube? My name is Dominic Marcel. Dom Marcel for short. And I just want to give y'all a special shout out. Shout out to you if you cultivate your energy. Transmitting your sexual energy to become the best version of yourself, man. It's a beautiful thing, fulfilling thing when you do that. Um, be God first in the journey. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about, but look, we're gonna get right into it, man. Don't waste some time. Being alone makes you stronger. Tight with a video. That's when epiphanies happen. That's when my best ideas come to me when I'm alone to my damn self when I'm able to think. Being alone makes you stronger, man. I done grew. My evolution has sprouted even more by me being alone instead of around a crowd or around people. Like, I grow, and I feel like every man is allowed to grow even more through isolation from others. If you're strong enough to do so, if you're disciplined enough to actually say fuck the world and just go in your little man cave huh, as a monk and just chill for a little bit, regroup, you know what I'm saying? I love doing that. Like, I've been doing it like I, I, right now it's like my fifth day off of social media as far as like Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, you know, all the toxic ass shit or whatever you have or you use it. But um, that's when I start growing physically, mentally, and spiritually when I'm to my damn self. And I love it. Cause I'm able to, I'm, a, I'm able to be more of an empath when I'm to myself. First of all, this shit popping, popping. Chris Brown, Chris Brown boy, popping. You got me on there, popping. Nah, for real, this shit popping like a motherfucker. As I spit, but um. I done came up with the best ideas. I done came up with the best solutions just to my own problems just by listening to myself and speaking to myself. Like like Kevin Gates said, he said he read somewhere that all geniuses talk to themselves. And right then and there, I knew I was a motherfucking genius. And that oh, shit, man, I've been talking to myself ever since I was a youngest. It's a shame that I knew. Some may call me crazy, some may call me fucking thing and who cares what they think that's what I say what do you think of yourself that's all that matters but um when I think about how my father carried himself right ever since the youngin he's always been to himself he only had a small circle he done dealt with as far as men I've never seen him with the crowd. I've never seen him eager to do what everybody else is doing. He only, he, he always sticks to the program, sticks to the basics, and he's always flourished. Like this, this man is 57, going on 23. Like the older you get, the faster, stronger, and wiser you become. It's like the Benjamin Button effect, man. The older you get, the younger you get. And some real talk. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the more your balls drop, the older you get, man. I love it. Some some men are able to mature faster than others and able to let their nuts hang quicker. But once you grow into your man strength, not only are you growing into your man strength, but you're growing into your man strength. You dig? And um, it's a beautiful thing, man. Like for real, for real, bro. 
especially when you add retention to it. Now you really growing into your motherfucking, your true being, you know what I'm saying? And now you get to look at your past experiences as lessons and like, damn, like Uncle Sintek was saying, you get to look at that shit as a, a, a part of your documentary, you feel me? That shit was just a, something to look back on and you get to enjoy your process. He said, yo, if y'all if y'all not privy to his shit, man, go check out Sintek shit for real, bro. Especially his pre his uh, previous videos he been making, bro. He been saying some of the realest damn shit. I don't know when I got into that nigga, but he been saying some real shit. And I feel like he been speaking to me, and not only me, but all of the youngest that's... I feel like he's speaking from experience like a motherfucker. And then he's speaking from a place of, I want to see all of the youngest do better than what I did on my journey. Because at the end of the day, what I do on this retention shit is I look at everything as inspiration and motivation. And then I don't look at nobody as better than me. I don't look at myself as I'm better than anyone because I'm doing this sacred ass journey. You know what I'm saying? This ain't nothing new. And that's what keeps me humble while I'm on this journey. I look at it like, I look at it like, I look at it like, uh, I know, I know, if y'all pissed off at me, I know, for my black people, I know, but, um, I know that I was to but, um, and if you don't know, now you know, nigga, <laughs> but, uh, what the hell I was gonna say, oh yeah, I look at y'all as inspiration and motivation to keep going like I look at Dante Young like this man has been seven years in on retention oh I can't even leave out Iron Man the Soul I think that's his name Iron Man the Soul or some shit you a real ass person man you a real ass man and you funny as, you funny as fuck too you really funny and you married like you just you just a funny motherfucker but um and Bodie and Trill Moody Star like all oh, all oh, all oh. And all my brothers across the goddamn Atlas, wherever y'all, all the soldiers, wherever y'all stationed at, man, I respect and love y'all. And I don't know y'all from a can of pain. But y'all like the big brothers I never had. For real, for real. And for y'all to have the, the worth all the, that y'all have as far as like, just the, the resiliency and perse perseverance, it's inspiring to me to keep going on my journey. Oh, I can't forget nine out of soul. Just like all of y'all, bro. All of y'all that I that helped me on my journey. I'm like for real, for real. I watch from afar. Like Nipsey said, I learned from your demonstration. You ain't got to teach me directly. I could learn from your demonstration how you how you your path that you walk. I can just watch the moves that you making and learn from, you know, the mistakes that you made so I won't make the same and then vice versa, you know what I'm saying? This is what I endured on my path, so hopefully you won't have to do it, and if you do, I gotta let you bump your head, but just know when you bump your head, you're gonna come to me for wisdom and you're gonna appreciate my tutelage even more. You're gonna appreciate my wisdom and knowledge and understanding even more because you saw that I had the best interest for your ass. And that was, I was pure with it. That's gonna make you really hold my shit with more value, you feel me? And so that's why I hold y'all shit for more value because it's like, it's a reason they speaking with such conviction right now. Like they not they not talking just to talk. These motherfuckers, they, they not using, they not using, they not writing down no notes, going over this shit. The most they'll probably do is in their notes, write a title just, just to get the gist of what they finna be speaking on. Sometimes they just come up with it and they like cut the camera on. Who knows? This is me speaking hypothetically, you feel me? But nonetheless, I use all of it as inspiration to not only make more videos, cause I got a little co not co father, but I got I got a family. I call y'all my extended family. So I got a little family that's watching me. And honestly, I don't know who the hell's watching me. But I appreciate every viewer from the haters to the lovers. I don't give a fuck. Because you're still tuning in. 
So I did my job. Wait, wrong one. Yeah, no, it's the right one. So I've done my job. And as far as the love, people people show hate, but way more people show love. Way more people show love. So I'm not worried about the hate. If anything, I invite the hate. Cause um, the hate motivates me. Like Ti said, hate to get on your job. I I hold that near and dear. That's one of my mottos for real. Get on your job. If you're not hating, I'm doing something wrong, motherfucker. I'm really doing something wrong. If you love me too much, time to switch it up. If you motherfuckers, you got me too comfortable, man. Way too comfortable. We're a hater. I'm the type of nigga that when I make it big, I'm gonna be looking for the hate. I'm talking about as far as in the boxing world. I ain't gonna be looking for the love. Like, bro, you're the greatest. You're the greatest. No, I'm gonna be looking at the hate. Because that's what's gonna fuel me to keep going. You a bitch ass nigga. You, you was never like that. I fucked your bitch. Like, whatever the fuck I can get. Because you ain't gonna say it to my face. Because you're gonna get your. You gonna, what the five fingers say to the face? Slap, 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 slap. Yeah, you gonna get that. Me. Then you gonna fuck around and get your ass choke slam. All kind of shit, boy. But that's either here nor there, man. Being alone makes you strong, man. Way stronger than than you ever thought you were. Cause now you get to tap into abilities that you thought you were capable of mentally, first and foremost. Cause you you build a mental fortitude. And the fortress. I'm using. I'm just using words just to use them. Forgive me if for the two don't make no damn sense. I could be using words and shit. But you you get to build a fucking mental fortress to the point where don't shit phase you. Prime example, right? Our brother Devin Haney, right? That's in Australia right now. He finna take these the, uh, Cambosis belts, but they don't use. It's, it's all warfare tactics, you feel me? Spiritual warfare tactics. When you really peep it from, from afar, I feel like the person that's getting all of the game right now is Damian Lillard. I love that, I love that dude, man. He's a real Nigas. He's a real Nigas, for real. Like, he's a real nigga from the Bay. But he know how to be that spook. He know how to be that spook. I, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm the real spook. It's, it's a couple spoofs out there. Shout out to Nip. <laughs> you know how to be that damn spook. <laughs> you know how to be that spook. You know what I mean? He know how to be that spook that can play dumb. Oh. You know what I'm saying? To catch the clowns. But I went off on the tangent. So David Haney's basically, until now, because they granted him access to his father again. His father is now in Australia. His head trainer, all of that shit. Now it's really some trouble for Cambosis. So it's really over with now. Because it was already over with. Because... Devin Haney was by himself going through all of the bullshit tactics that y'all was giving him. I'm talking about y'all trying to discredit his hard work. Oh, first y'all saying the scale wasn't uh, read right because there's too many people on the stage. Like it wasn't enough people on stage with Devin Haney, the same amount of people, you feel me? Then y'all tried to say, um, he's not a man, he's a little boy and we gonna teach him a lesson. Like he not a 23 year old young fucking man who's going from the States all the way to fucking Australia and goddamn disciplined himself and controlled himself enough to go through all of that bullshit that y'all been giving him and still make weight. 
as a young man still made weight or he starved himself or he's just disciplined enough to make fucking weight. And I wouldn't be surprised if that nigga was fasting. And that's why he looked like that. Haney on some different shit, bro. I can I can just I can feel it. I can just look at Haney and can tell this nigga's disciplined. Like real disciplined. Excuse me. He ain't playing. He he bringing the belts home, man. But yeah, y'all try to discredit my, my man's work ethic and shit. Which fuck me up. Fuck. Try to discredit his work ethic, right? Then on top of that, you try to go at him. Like y'all y'all just saying a whole bunch of bullshit, bro, and it's just it's rubbing the real ones the wrong way. Then on top of that, you talking all that shit. And you ain't even make weight. The most important fight of your motherfucking life in your home, in your country. You talking all this shit about Devin Henney. He's a rat. He's a snitch. He's a little boy. He hasn't went through nothing I went through. He's spoiled. Like he ain't have to earn his fucking stripes as a professional fighter. I get it. You trying to sell a fight. But it's other ways to sell a fight. Like how Devin Haney is selling that shit. He ain't talking that bullshit you talking. He ain't with all the theatrics. He's meaning business. And he finna handle that business and bring them bills home. I can see it. He on he on the same shit that Shakur Stevenson was on. I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. He a part of that cloth. You can, you can see it. Literally see it. And that's why y'all ass scared. That's why y'all bitches scared talking all that bitch ass shit. We can smell it on y'all. We can smell the fucking hate. This shit deeper than boxing, really. When you really look at it, it's just really deeper than boxing, man. That's why I love watching this shit. Because it's deeper than boxing. I just like seeing the, the spiritual warfare behind the scenes of niggas really hating. And I like to see how just the real ones prevail through this shit. Because George was once, once a real one. I feel like it's a curse when you get them damn belts for real. Because... Tio Fimo had the same shit. He was talking all that shit. He went on a whole fucking world tour about how he's he he don't gotta fight this person, this person. Ain't no rematches with Lomachenko and all this shit. You feel me? Him and his dad talking the most shit. And then you run into George Cambosis, and he was supposed to fight. Who the fuck was he? Who was supposed? Tio was supposed to fight somebody, but he ended up fighting George. And then you get dropped by him and you lose to him. In an embarrassing fashion, I'll let you tell it. It was really a humbling fashion. It was supposed to humble you. That was God humbling you. You feel me? But you still ain't humble. You hating. You still haven't accepted the loss. It's all in your interviews. You talking shit. Man, fuck them. That's just your pride and the ego in a way, bro. It's your pride and ego in a way, bro. Just accept the fact that the better man won that night. He trained his ass off and he whooped your ass, bro. And just grow from the ass whooping, bro. It ain't that damn serious, man. It's not. It's really not. Was it because you was in your hometown and you and it happened? That's what that's what probably that's what probably made it worse. For you. You lost in front of your people. But let me go, man. I'm finna eat this food, man. Y'all see me going off on the tangent, man. I love y'all. Um continue to cultivate your energy. Love yourself and spread love to your neighbors, to your to your others, you feel me? Make sure you going within, drinking your gallon of goddamn water with your coconut. You dig what I'm saying? Organic blend. Ooh. I just ate my fruit, you feel me? I'm finna eat my eggs, my testosterone builders. I ate my watermelon, you feel me? Testosterone and dick. dick. Man, look, everything is calculated, man. It's chestnut checkers, you dig what I'm saying? My name is Don Marcel, Don Marcel for short. Um, AKA Red Rum Egos. Kill your ego and elevate past your people. <laughs> Peace.